Hey everybody, today I will show you an 8 game tick engine for flying machines, which is, you can say, the last puzzle piece. We got a 6 game tick engine, this week I already showed a 7 game tick engine, there are designs for 9 game tick engines, 11, 10, and 12 game tick engines, and finally we also have an 8 game tick engine. Alright, it looks a bit weird, um, because also, yeah, works kind of weird. So I'm just gonna start this one up, as you can see. This is an 8 game tick engine. Alright, I'm gonna start with the explanation this time, but I'm actually explaining it with this game t uh, 8 game tick engine, which is kind of similar, but it's just easy to see what actually happens. Alright, so how do we make an 8 game tick engine? You can't just chain two 4 game tick extensions because the piston wouldn't reset um, before it's yeah pushed again so it would get stuck so that's why we have to do it like this so we pull this extension here which is basically a three game tick extension and then we need a five game tick extension which is kind of hard to make so you got the yeah, pushing extension which is always four you got the pulling extension which is six but we need something in between we need five and we achieved that by activating an observer that's getting uh, pushed away immediately. So we basically make a zero tick with an observer. Plus we have the two game ticks of delay that the uh, server has inbuilt. So if we pull this extension closer it also pushes this piston here next to the redstone block. Then it extends which the observer immediately detects. Then we have the two game ticks of delay. So this yeah, also slime block is pushed under the observer and both pistons are moved one forward. Then the observer powers both pistons immediately and since this one pushes this extension away with the observer, basically get a zero tick. So in order to reset this piston also immediately, we have the second piston which also pulls this stuff again. So okay, so we have a three game tick extension plus the five ticks here, total eight game tick engine. Okay, let's also start this one here. Also looks a bit derpy how it moves, but yeah, that's how it is. Alright, so as I already said, last puzzle piece. Here we have the big comparison between different engine types. We got the old school Caterpillar engine, 12 game ticks. Then I chained three pushing extensions to create an 11 game tick engine. So we got two pushing extensions from server, which is 4 ticks, plus the pushing extension of Redstone block, another three uh, game ticks, total 11. Then we got the two pistons, two observers, two slime blocks, two wave flying machine, which is 10 ticks. Then here we got a 9 game tick engine, the 8 game tick engine, the 7 game tick engine I showed this week already. And here we have the 6 game tick engine, those flying machines are also called supercharged flying machines. And here we have the 4.4 blocks per second flying machine which is a four and a half tick engine, since it moves two blocks in nine ticks. All right, let's press the button, then we can really see the difference. Yeah, the 4.4 one is really pulling ahead. The six, six ticks engine behind, seven ticks, eight ticks, you can nicely see it, nine ticks, 10 ticks, 11 ticks, 12 ticks. Uh, yeah, everything after 12 is really trivial. Uh, it's just combining different pushing and pulling extensions. You can make it arbitrary slow and there's no problem to make a 13, 14, 15, etc. engine. Alright, then yeah, one more thing. In case you want to use extensions for the 8 game tick engine, you basically have to use the same extensions you would use for the uh, 6 or 7 game tick engine. I showed this in the last video already. Alright, that's pretty much it. Wait, one more thing. Uh, I need to show you how to build it. Okay, we'll, let, we'll just let those fly off. Um, I will also provide a world download if you want to check it out yourself. Alright, so how do we build it? So we need to start with a normal piston, then two slam blocks in front, and a redstone block here. Then a sticky piston below, and then four slime blocks like this, and then we got downwards facing observer here, piston pointing that direction, another piston pointing forwards, 
Also, it could also point to the side. It doesn't really matter much. Is it this way or this way? Could also be a sticky piston. Also, this could be a sticky piston, but normal is also fine. Okay, then we need another five slime blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Redstone block. And then we're already done. We can launch the engine by placing a piston here. Alright, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.